Today we're going to talk about uh, resources within Schoology. Now to just view the resources and not add them to a class, you can navigate to resources at the top. And if you've added resources yourself to your resource folder from within your classroom, they'll be listed here. There are also public resources that other people have shared that you may use. But what we're going to be focusing on are the group resources today. And you will have either your school resources or any other groups you may be a member of. But what we're going to look for are the Montgomery Public Schools resources. Now this folder houses our curriculum that you can use to add to your course to enhance your learning of your students. Um, and our content is going to be in the school's PLP content folder. Now when you select this folder, you'll be able to select your grade span. And then you'll be able to select your grade that you teach. And then your course that you teach. Now this way we can just view it. So if we need to view it and you need to come in here and you want to print off this parent guide and you want to print off your pacing guide, you can do that and access it here and open it up and view it. And once it loads, we'll be able to view what the pacing guide looks like. It has not completely loaded yet. It takes a second. And then here is our pacing guide and we can actually print this out um, from here. Now, that is how you can access to view the resources. Now, I want to show you how you can use these resources within your courses. To do that, I'm going to navigate to my course tab. And I'm going to select my courses because I have a lot of courses listed in here, but I'm going to navigate down to my sandbox course. And this is my course that I have for my class. Now, I need to add some materials for week three. So I'm going to select the week three folder. And I already have a few materials I've already imported practicing. Um, but to do this, to import those materials that the state has provided in that school PLP P folder, I can go to add materials. And then I can import from resources. So this is where we find that. So now once I'm here, we knew that that was in our group resources. So I'm going to select group. And I'm going to go down and select Montgomery Public Schools and select the folders just like we did to view it. And say I'm teaching second grade and I'm doing English language arts. And this week we're going to start off with lessons one. And here it is. So I can open this lesson one folder and I can choose what things I want to add to that, that folder. So I want to do the teach it and the introduction and the assess it. And I also want the students to have a reading log. And I can choose any of these that I want. Now, if it's labeled AK, that means it's an answer key. We don't want to import that over. So I can import all of these over. And when I import them over, it's going to tell me it's going to, it's going to take a while. So I'm going to import. And when I do, all of the stuff I just pulled over will be ready in my class. So you'll have your lessons. You can even add folders within here to organize these materials. So if I wanted to add a folder that says Monday, I could do that easily. So I'm going to add a folder and name it Monday. And then I can move my... Um, things to that folder. So if this is for Monday, I can move it to the Monday folder. So week three, Monday, and then I can move my things from Monday. What I would suggest is having a week one, two, three, and four, or maybe the week with the dates, and then having individual Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday folders within that so students know what they need to do each day and have their lessons added. But that's all there is to importing resources from Schools PLP into your Schoology classroom.